The father of one of my college students just returned from a trip to South Africa and brought back a Vuvuzela with him. So when my student brought it to show me, I of course had to take it to the acoustics lab where I teach to uh, test it out and to try to find out what it does, why it makes the sound it makes, why it's annoying, how loud it gets. So we ran through a bunch of tests uh, to see what it, did, what it does and what the acoustics and the physics behind it are. The first thing we did was to take it outside and to try to figure out how loud the Vuvuzela gets. We've heard reports that it gets extremely loud and can cause ear damage, so we tested it by blowing into a, 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 a sound level meter to uh, try and record how many decibels, how loud the sound gets. Turns out that these things are really loud. Ours pegged at 125 decibels on a C-weighted scale. Just to put that into perspective, if you were 500 meters away from a space shuttle liftoff, the sound level would be about 120 decibels. The threshold of pain is 130. Ear damage starts to occur at 85. So these things are loud, dangerously loud, especially if you were in the stands at a soccer game standing right next to somebody blowing it all day long. Well, we then took it into the inside to the acoustics lab to try and figure out why it makes the noise that it makes and why it's an annoying noise. So we played the sound, recorded it on a microphone, processed it on a frequency analyzer so we could find out what frequencies the, uh, the instrument produces. And it produces a large number of frequencies, all integer multiples of each other, but a lot of them right in the range where the human ear needs to have sound for speech. sound you're normally used to hearing, but that's not the only sound this thing can make. You can also play the octave above it, and you can also get some lower notes too. So you can do the same kind of weird things with it.